We're gonna get this. Okay, I only have the option for a one-man show. All right, I'm coming for the duo then. So I'm the only one that. Oh, I wonder if. Okay, let's do this. Let's. Uh... I like to start my performance. So we're just going to do the two-man show. show, and in a moment it's done. We just got to rush over and grab the head. So yeah, we just got to wait for the NPCs to arrive. See, the yeah, thing is, is I'm watching so the crowd over there, and they're not moving. Maybe the maybe the crowd will grow as we do the show. All right, let's do it. Let's begin. Stage is yours. Bravo! The crowd seems to know the tale. They wholly agree with your beginning. Today, I think uh, the crowd is thrilled. Whatever will happen next is sure to excite. I know what. Let's just once the show is over, just try and yoink the head anyway and see what happens. <laughs> okay. Simply marvelous. Bravo! The crowd seem quite impressed with your delivery. Keep it up. The crowd gasps. They're on the edge of their seats. Go on. Push them over. Gasps ring out across the audience. They must Let me know when you when it's done. Here we go, just the last one. The crowd explodes into applause and All right, and you wore them in a tale of desperation and hope, and they are alive with the fear of exile. <laughs> yeah, so I get cute. The thing is we can't act on the other stage, unfortunately. Hey, you there. Cut it. Yeah, you can. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I know, there's still people there. But, but look, but Reginald moves. There's the chance. Nope, not anymore. Oh well. But the thing is, we can't act on this other stage. Cedrix. Actually, okay. I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna do the duo again. Yeah, the guards are on me again. Oh, dear, it's because you've been trying to yoink the head too much, I guess. Yep. I'll go quietly. Looks like whoever was here last had a life sentence. I think we're just going to have to leave this for later. It's just something just doesn't seem to be working right. Yeah. Because, yeah, it's supposed to, I guess, yeah, when you do distraction, it's supposed to, yeah, bring all the NPCs over and that'll, uh, yeah. But we're not, but not everyone's leaving. Yeah, um, I, I got a, I'm in, I'm in the prison with the prison demon. Oh dear, that doesn't sound healthy. That's me. This wolf calf. Oh, you're just flat out not on the map anymore. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. So, can you quickly look on your character sheet and tell me what uh, dexterity does for you? Dexterity. Uh, determines your offensive rating with dex-based weapons, improves experts, marksmen, and scoundrel skills, and influence your defense rating. OK. 
Okay, and strength is carry weight and me melee based stuff, and what else? Yeah, offensive rating with mad arm skills, how much you can carry, weight of items you can move, and how far you can throw them. How are you doing there, Britsky? Oh, you booped the dragon. You want the boop. She, wa she wants the boop. Boop, boop. Well, were you forced to, like, take a quiz to get out? No, uh, to make a deal, I have to sacrifice one of my stats. What, temporarily or permanently? I think permanently. I'm willing to give up strength. Reputation down one. All right, so where's all my stuff? Is it still on me? Yes, it is. Thankfully. Okay. Yeah, I'd say let's stuff this. Let's just go back out there and explore some more again. Yeah, let's just do that. Also, the chains got undone. Just uh, so the party needs to be yeah. reset up. Yeah, especially with me getting sent to prison. Plus, also, we're, we're, we're separated. We're too far separated as well. Yeah. I just have to wait for you to catch up, basically. Well, I can put them all the on you. Yeah, and I'll take the NPCs over to you. Or, no, or actually, we'll just meet at the gate. Yeah, yeah I'm so heading over to faster. the gate. Yeah, I'm going to go to the gate. Boop. So let me see what that actually did to me. Yep, minus one boot. Oh, minus one. Okay. And there's no timer or anything on it. it doesn't look like it. Um, uh, maybe if you don't do enough nasty things for a while, eventually it'll undo. Uh, thank you, thank you, Britsky. I hope. I'm still coming up. So. Waiting right at the gate. There you are. Alright, let me. This is where the enemies don't respawn. Alright, let's go. Oh, they're, they're dead. Let's actually, okay. let's actually go investigate. Oh, there's an Avatar Frost Scroll here. Oh, plate armor. Is that better than my current one? Yeah, that's better armor rating and a slightly bigger movement penalty, but I'll take the better armor rating. I do have a helmet, though. We'll probably do with a lot. I think we both could do with a lot. This is like a dead end. No, but I, you know me. I like to explore everything. Yep. Hidden stuff. Look for hidden stuff. Well, I, I noticed in the corner of my eye, there's some skeletons wandering around this house here. So this is where the next fight is. Okay. So can you drop a quick save just to be on the safe there's side? A quick save. Quick save. Yeah, because that's, yeah, there we go. We got a yeah, zombie, fully armored archer, undead swordsman, a fumbling terramancer, Man, the a killer lot in undead there. clubber. Yeah. Let's go. But, they have, but, they, have, but they have limited ways out. So, uh, fight this right. We should be able to channel them through, basically. Which side do you want to take? I want to, let's, and you have to do, you have to go over to him and do sneak as well. Oops. So you do sneak on you and then click the portrait and then sneak on him. Ooh. I'm just trying to get like a, a lay of the land. Oh, there's a scarecrow over here. Okay. Oh, there's a undead archer. Oh, there's a bomb. bomb there's a couple bombers over there. Oh, yeah, gotta be careful. I almost walked into their line of sight. But yeah, the thing is, if we attack from here, there's also that line of boxes they have to come through. I can just put my spider in front of that. Yep. Yep. So 
I think this uh, is shall probably we, a good shall spot. We, shall we engage? Yep. I will engage okay. with the archer. Oh yeah, uh maybe from Cloak you can get yeah, get an early strike in. Well they just gotta get within range. Uh. I'm just waiting. I think maybe some of your mage skills might work out better. Hold on. I'd rather do ricochet because then I can hit multiple targets. Yeah. Ooh, man, that's starting to... They're getting close. God, dog, man. They're just so close. They're just outside of my range. Dang. <laughs> maybe just gonna have to risk it moving closer and get the shot in when they've got their back turned. Actually, I'm gonna do this. I think. I'll leave myself These there. These defenses are the best, though. <laughs> come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come here. Gotta be careful not to go too far up, because then we'll trigger these guys. Yep, it's already triggered for her, so... Oh, she's in combat? Yep, she's in combat. Alright, then I may as well get into combat too. There's a problem. I can't, still can't even see that guy. So I literally have to take one step over. Okay, he does count as There we combat. go. Yeah, they're gonna, there's going to be a few in front of me before I can get the uh, teleport going. Doesn't look like we aggroed the one star a ways out. You're still sneaky, so you're going to have to first unsneak. And now well, I'm out of standing AP. In water, so... Hmm? I'm now out of AP. Uh, Cause you had to unsneak, I guess. Yep. Oh. Okay. Uh, I see a fireball target for you. Yeah, I do. Big time. Hey, that terramancer. Let's not. Okay. Let's do. Yeah, let's delay the spider summon. Yeah, get the oil down. And I'll conserve AP. Ooh, he hastened over there. Oh, okay, he's going to run around the back. I guess they're actually being smart and... Okay, that one skeleton is going to try and get around the back. I'll send Wolf uh, to watch our back and then yeah. backstab Wolf decides to go there. Which looks like it's going to be the... Don't... um. It's a Wolf guy and you... Walk in shadows. Then make your way over here. Okay, you will get a turn before those uh, skeletons get a turn to go, so hit him with the fire. I get a go. Um... See if you can knock down that group. I don't have an AOE knockdown. Uh, but let's knock down the Terramancer. He's probably going to be the bigger to get their magic out of the way. Yep, there we go. Knocked over. I still have four AP, so I could charge in if I wanted, but. Mm, uh, yeah, I'd say I can serve Actually, up. no, I'll do this instead. Get us all buffed up. Alright, because, it increases, because it increases your intelligence stat as well, which means your magic becomes stronger. Oh yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Very nice. Yeah, and I that somehow got nice poisoned. Combo. I somehow was in range to get uh, poisoned. Oh, uh, like there was just a wisp of poison just above you. 
He just got a bit unlucky. Well, I can have the, um... The, uh, archer give me a cure. Wolfgang, can you get behind for backstab? I would probably just, like, leave no, him. He no, he doesn't have enough AP, so I'm just yeah. gonna leave him right there. <laughs> so one, I'm going to cure myself of the poison. Yeah, get the poison off. Oh, wait, that, that wasn't the cure poison one. Oh, I am too far away. Give me one second. I gotta be a uh, little bit closer. Hold on, hold on. I can, there's two AP. And two AP. There we go, poison cured. Good. My turn. Uh, so... Okay, no, I can't teleport. can't put a spire there to deal with that. Uh... So, uh, okay, see, so we've got the undead clubber there, it, like, right but, if front. I, but if I were to charge the undead clubber, that's probably not going to end well for me. No, because you got poison and fire there. Uh, no, no, it's it's not going to take me through the poison. Actually, that that X marks where I'm going to stop, I think, and that's outside of the fire and the poison. Oh, nice. <laughs> Okay, so good to know when I do movement abilities, X marks where my character's going to end. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, and now let's give you an oath of desecration so that that guy can just gank that skeleton is trying to be clever. Alright, I'm going to put a regeneration on me. <laughs> Undead clever. Boop. Yeah, when, uh, when... Hey, that's pretty much... He ran right past him. Perfect. Yeah, and now you can just take him and just... <laughs> and now, now, now it's time for some stabby stabby. Stabby stabbies. Uh, let's see, is there anything... Let's see, lacerate. Uh... I think most of the stuff gets a nice bonus to with backstab, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Well, actually, if I... Do... Oh, I'm going to have more than enough AP to do more than just stabby stab. Oh, <laughs> that did... That did about a... Um, about... A Nearly half. His health. Now, lacerate. Okay, yeah. Okay, so he's immune to bleeding. I should have figured. Yeah, skills. It's kind of hard to get blood out of a uh, bone. Oh, that, oh, right. I thought it was a zombie. <laughs> And then, okay, uh, okay, he can't get out of the way, he's gonna get attack of opportunity. Uh, so you just end your turn, conserve your AP. But that did a good amount of damage to him, that was two thirds of his health. Damn. Aww. I don't have enough AP. Ah, 7 AP. When I get my next level up, I'm definitely putting a point into speed because my lack mm. of speed is really being painful because it also affects how much AP you get per turn. So I'm just going to whack. Oh, for fuck's sake. That, that, that was a 93% chance to hit. Oh, uh, you got hell. x -calmed. Ah. You got XCOM'd. Okay. Ah, oh, he's using regeneration after the very good stabby stabby. Oh. Ow. And then, and then there's just this random zombie who's just shambling off. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna... There we go. Ooh, Ooh scroll. Gold. A scroll of frost, frost armor. Av Avatar's frost. Frost yeah. armor. Okay, well, you just move over here. Okay, now there's just this one in the smoke, and that one's zombie left. So yeah, you know, if it, wasn't for those if it wasn't for those shock zombies from last time, you would have, you know, the fight would have probably gone like this. Yep. For oh, fuck's sake. I think it's like no health. Can you finish him off? Yep, there you go. Thank you. Yeah. 
And he's just gonna take his sweet little time. Let's see, cloak and dagger needs six AP. So I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna have him stay there, conserve AP. Then I'm just going to have him teleport behind and stabby stabby. My turn. Uh... I mean, I've been very unlucky with my uh, sword hits. Yep. <laughs> probably, you probably need to get some decks in there too. For accuracy, I bet. No, no st strength determines my hit chance with uh, with big swords. Oh, okay. Well, okay. More strength. Okay, plus two due to a low scoundrel, so that's why it's six AP. Oh, he's... Oh, target's out of sight, so he cannot teleport there, unfortunately. Um... Yes, he's gonna cost six. How much do I need to... It's four AP to attack. I've got... 16 AP to work with. So I can move six AP. No, that's... Yeah, that's half. So I only have two AP points to work with. To move. Nope, can't get behind him. All right, then just wait. It's a very useful ability because it's it's a teleport. So I can see why. Oh yeah, by the way. I may as well. <laughs> Bit late to the party. Sorry, zombie. You're you're gonna be even slower. Oiled. Okay, spider time. Uh. Okay, not quite enough AP for the stabby, for the... So stabby I'm just stabby. gonna... Do, 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 do. Basically, it's gonna have to go for the spider first. Oh, wow, the zombie only made us able to move that much. Yep. <laughs> this is why uh, oil is so nasty. Okay, um... Whoop! Whoop! Stabby stabby! Nothing personnel. <laughs> that did barely anything. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, he's not on the oil, so you can freely set the oil on fire if you want. <laughs> Spiders are faceful anyway. <laughs> I kind of figured. Fire away. I was afraid for a moment you actually hit poor wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Wol no, Wolgraf. Being a prick and attacking Wolfgraf. Well, oh, the initiative order is changing up. Interesting. Oh dang, the zombie releases a poison cloud whenever it gets hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, now this on this thing lacerate should work. Yep, yep there we go, bleeding. The bleeding. And then back off. 
And now, more oil. <laughs> Just to make sure. Just to make sure. Uh, Sp spider can't see the target from where it is. It has to move just a little bit closer. Here we go. My, ooh, ooh, almost, almost. Yep, out of AP. I got it though. There we go. <laughs> oh, break what this guy uh, Q just said. I sure hope you don't find any Americas anytime soon with all this oil Draco is making. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we fought over this building. See yeah. what holds for us. Uh, we might want to wait and go through. We might want to go the other uh, way yeah, around. We're going to have to uh, detonate it and that stuff. Well, I'm just going around. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, just cast. Oh, yeah. Or just, yeah, walk around there. Because, I mean, it's already detonated. No, oh, but, yeah, but you can explode. You can exploit the poison. Explode the poison count. Yeah. But, well, I wonder why the burning hasn't gotten rid of it. Gotten it. Gone away. We got a regeneration scroll in here. Some milk. Some gold. Some nothing. Resurrection scroll. Huh, okay, we're definitely gonna need more of those. We're definitely gonna need more of those. Mm -hmm. uh, that was it for this building. Yep, that is. Okay, so now notice there's actually another building quite close by if we go this way. Oh, and well, 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 there's the will that we came out of last time. Right here. There's, there's a bunch of beehives over here. And Sheba and Toxa. Two dogs. Let's have a chat. Dog drools but speaks no words. A low moaning growl rumbles from its throat. But even I can't talk with that dog. Drools and shambles closer but speaks no words. Oh god, you can actually loot from the beehive, so... Nope, there's a skeleton in here. With nothing on it. Nothing on this one either. There's a chest here. With some wool. Maybe we'll take that. Yeah, and there's a frost the grenade, so let me get that to you. Ooh. Get that piece. I don't know what's up with these dogs. They seem to be very out of it. And then there's... Oh, you can loot the beehives. Yeah. There's the unidentified shiny copper ring in a beehive. Oh. Okay. Nothing in this one. Nothing in this one. All right. Well, I'll send this. Send the send the ring over to you to identify it. Identifying. Pickpocket and lore master. Oh wait. Yeah, pickpocket and lore master. Well, that uh, uh, that would be good for wolf. Because hey, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm lore master. I'm lore master. And the thief. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm both. Oh, hello. And there's another building even further to the north. And the thing is, we got to try and find... Because I think our next clue is, is in a building. Because Evelyn bought, like, some kind of building that was apparently zombie-invested. Mm, okay. There's, there's somebody in there. Yeah. It's in here. Wolfram. Yeah, there's a door in right here. Yeah, I know, but I was just listening to what he said. There's a, there's a cellar. But he's not dead. I wasn't entirely certain I'd ever meet anyone any more fitting that description. <laughs> okay. The name's Wolfram, and it's a delight to make your acquaintance. Good to see, by the by, you don't belong to the Legion. Legion. Ten of their number accompanied me on a fact-finding mission to an ancient burial mound. But, as it turns out, they stood a snowflake's chance in hell against the undead. It's not that I reckon my chance is any higher, though, especially with that vicious undead muck prowling the grounds around this here ruin. I'd go so far as to what? say I'm in dire need of an armed escort back to the city, as a matter of fact. I'm an archaeologist mm. and connoisseur of the undead. Because of connoisseur of the undead. Lieutenant Selenia, oh, dear. Of the Legion in Sicile, wanted me 